Hey there and welcome back to another episode of my Waterbox 30.2 Marine All-in-One Build. And today I wanna show you the test kits that I'm using to do my fishless cycle. So if you are new to the hobby, I would recommend picking these up for yourself. So let's get into it. So please stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to explain what these test kits mean when you're cycling your aquarium and why you need them. Here are your Salifert test kits and I am using ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. And what's behind it is something that I would recommend you getting later on down the line, especially when you start adding corals because it's a good way to check your alkalinity, your calcium, and your phosphates in your tank. It also comes with the temperature and pH all in one. It also comes with some calibrating solutions, storage solutions, and then all the reagent that you need. So I just threw it in there. Obviously I'm not using it right now, but we'll go into another video at some point as soon as I get some corals and I'll show you how the Hannah checkers work. But I just wanted to, you know, give you a heads up so that way if you're starting a build yourself, these are the test kits that I'm going to recommend off the bat. Now for the Salifert tests, the ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate, I'm gonna do a test in front of you all so we can see where my sec cycle is at. I actually tested last night at around this time. So I was um, about two parts per million in my ammonia and my nitrite and my nitrates were off the chart. So let's see where we're at today. And we'll get into it right now. So for the ammonia test kit, this is what to expect in the package. You're gonna get a vial, you're gonna get your reagent, you have two syringes, one to suck up the water and one for the reagent. You also have a uh, test kit card that uh, gives you a color chart so that you can match up your test to the color chart to see where your parts per million is and then obviously your directions. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that syringe on the left and I'm gonna fill it up with two milliliters of water. I'm gonna put it in the test file, and then I'm gonna suck up one milliliter of that reagent, and then I'm gonna add half of the reagent, swirl it for 30 seconds, add the other half, swirl it for 10 seconds, and then let it sit for three minutes. So let's see what our results are. All right, so I have my two milliliters of tank water that I'm gonna put into the vial. And then I already sucked up some reagent, so I'm at the one milliliter mark, and the directions say to add 0.5 milliliters to the vial. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna shake it up for 30 seconds. So that's about 30 seconds. And uh, don't shake it, swirl it. I'm gonna add the next batch of reagent, which is the rest. And I'm gonna shake it up for 10 seconds. And then what we have to do is just let this sit for three minutes. So I'll be right back. Okay, so three minutes has now passed. And as you can see, the liquid changed to this orangish color here. So when you look through it, I'm gonna say it's between 1.5 and two parts per million. Let's see if you can see 
right there. So yesterday it was definitely a darker orange. So I believe my ammonia is going down a tad. Now let's do the nitrite and see where we're at on the nitrite. All right, here's what to expect in the nitrite test kit. You have a vial, you have your syringe to suck up your tank water, you have a spoon, you have your reagent, and then you have your test kit card so you can match up your tank water to the card. So here, what we're gonna do is add one milliliter of water in the test vial. We're gonna add one level spoon of the NO2 reagent. We're gonna swirl it for 20 seconds, allow to stand for three minutes, and then we're going to test it to the test card. So let's do that. All right, here's my one milliliter of tank water that's going in the test tube or vial. And then what we do is we take this red spoon and we get a spoonful of this reagent. We're gonna dump it in here and then we're gonna swirl it for 20 seconds. All right, so I have to let this sit for three minutes. And then what we'll do is we'll test it up against the card and see where we're at. Okay, so three minutes has passed. And what we're gonna do is take the vial and this one's a little different. So instead of looking at it from the side, it wants you to look at it from top down. So you're gonna look at the test vial like this top down. And I do wanna say that yesterday, it was so purple. It was like four parts per million. And today it's dropped down to between two and one parts per million. So I think my nitrites are going down and it's been like, I think today's the sixth day of this cycle. So I'm really excited about it. So let's do the last test. We're gonna test for nitrate and then I'm gonna explain what all this stuff means. So this is what to expect in the Salifert nitrate test kit. You're gonna have your syringe, two reagents this time, your test vial, and your test card. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add one milliliter of water, and then we're gonna add four drops of NO31. And then what we're gonna do is take one level spoonful of NO32, add it to the vial, we're gonna swirl it um, and then we're gonna let it stand for three minutes. Now we do have to swirl it for 30 seconds. So let's get into it. All right, we have our one milliliter of tank water. And then what we're gonna do is drop four drops of the NO31. There's four drops. And then let me get a spoonful of NO32. And I always like to push it against the side of the, the container so that I get like an even amount. And I'm gonna add this to the vial. And we're gonna swirl it for 20 seconds, or 30 I should say. All right, so what we're gonna do is set it down, let it stand for three minutes, and we'll be back with the results. But as you can see, it is already off the charts. I mean, it is already 100 parts per million right now, so it's probably well beyond that. So I'm actually not gonna let it stand for the three minutes here because we already know from the test card that 
it's matching up to the darkest purple on the test card. And that is saying it's 100 parts per million. So let me go through and explain what all these test kits mean. So the time has come for me to explain to you why you need these test kits in the first place. So the reason why you need them is so that you can monitor the cycle in your tank. And to give you a little science lesson, a nitrogen cycle has to take place in your fish tank for it to be safe to add your first fish. Now, the reason why you're testing for ammonia is for one, to bring that ammonia level to around two parts per million after you have added your beneficial bacteria. So in my case, I use the Dr. Tim's Aquatics Ammonium Chloride to do that. And for the beneficial bacteria in a bottle, I use the Fritz Turbo Start 900 along with the Microbacter 7. So how it works is fish secrete waste in the aquarium and that is what that beneficial bacteria lives on. So that waste turns into ammonia and that is why it is essential to do a fishless cycle with some sort of ammonia. Now, when that bacteria starts eating the ammonia, that is also a living organism and secretes waste as well. So then you have another beneficial bacteria that is going to eat the waste of the bacteria that is eating the ammonia, which turns it into nitrite. And then what's left over from that waste is nitrate. So when you know your cycle is complete is when you have a zero ammonia reading and a zero nitrite reading. And then what you'll have left over is your nitrates and you'll have a lot of it. So it's going to be off the charts. The only way to get rid of that nitrate is to do a very large water change. And I would recommend anywhere between 60 and 80% water chains change. And you can even break it up in a couple of days as well. And then once your nitrate is down between two parts per million and zero or five parts per million and zero, that's usually a safe range. That is when you can add your first fish. And then weekly or bi-weekly, you're going to do a water change to get rid of the extra nitrate. And then eventually you're going to have a zero reading on the salifert test kits of the nitrate. Now, if you use the HANA checkers, you're always going to see that you have some sort of trace of ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate in there. But with the Salifert test kits, it doesn't do that ultra low range test. So you are going to have a little bit of ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate left in your tank, but it's going to be so small that it's not going to harm any fish in your tank. And believe it or not, you're going to need a little bit of nitrate for your corals. So, you know, a couple months after your cycle is done and you go through the diatom phase, you can probably add your first coral. In my opinion, that's the best way to do it. And then your coral is actually going to need a little bit of nitrate and phosphates in the water so that that remains healthy. Um, I know some people that like to shoot for that zero mark on nitrate and phosphate, and then they achieve it, and then they see a dip in their coral colors or their corals start to recede a little bit. So I'm a firm believer that you need a little bit of those two things in your tank to make your corals healthy, healthy. but that is going to be for another topic. I just wanted to show you the test kits, how I'm testing it, how I'm monitoring my cycle, and then I'm gonna say in probably about a week, if not sooner, I am gonna be able to do my large water change and add my first fish. So stay tuned, and I can't wait to do that. You all have a great day. Like this video, subscribe to my channel. If you leave me a comment, I'll get back to you as fast as I can. You all have a good one. Bye-bye.